Hello, Human Flea here, back with another episode of Disguide D2. Where last left off, we actually was able to beat the first episode. We were able to fought off Grotto, Grosso, sorry. And now we actually end up in the Overlord's Castle, where we received a package which contained an angel, Sicily. She wants to become Overlord, and she claims the Harl is her big brother. So yeah, let's see where that leads. Also, one thing I mentioned, um, I found out that in the Dark Assembly, there was a certain object you can buy called Double Jump. You need to buy the ability to double jump in the main base. This affects the gameplay in no way. That's funny. Also, um, between now and the last recording session, I had a few friends over and I let them both create their own character. So, we have two new additions, as well as some changes to the old ones. You'll see. Wow, that did not take her long. Sicily is surrounded by demons! This doesn't look good for her! That's true, but something doesn't seem right. Hmm, who cares? I'm going to catch her! Wait, so her souls the feet are just like that? Oh, I guess it must have been the lighting. You thought you could get away? To be Wait fair, it took a you a minute. While. I'm not the self-proclaimed overlord. I am the absolute one and only overlord. But all these demons say they don't know who you are. Yes, they will also die in around three minutes. Yep. Damn you. Fine. Then I will engrave into your rotten brains that I am the ultimate overlord of the netherworld. <laughs> Stage start. So we got some healers, some magic users, and some slimes. Bench Press Plus. Another name for the list. Surprizo? Gee, make that too. So, yes, as I said, there are some new additions to the team. Princess Candy, created by Half Killer. And I'm Not Crying, created by Lock on Stratos. Oddly fitting. Ready, go. Also, with all the characters, all the side characters. I actually was able to level them up enough, because it turns out that when you level them up to level 10, you actually unlock the next state, like, th an upgraded class for each of them. In the Dark Assembly, there's an option called Promotion once you get this, so I promoted all my units. So, yes, that is why Horace is now orange, because he's a Captain Prinny. Okay. And they also have a few new skills. Also, it turns out that apprenticeship can be very useful. I'm not crying as an apprentice for Flan, so she was able to learn all of her spells. So I effectively have two healers. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be good. Let's go with Gone with Wait, actually what are you guys weak against? Uh Okay, weak against wind. Good. Done with cotton. I actually did give her a book. And Princess Candy is the gun toting thief. Should probably get my actual units out here as well. So, yes, everyone's also level 10. I should mention that part as well. You know what? I think I'll just keep you with. Uh, use 451 degrees of hell. God damn it, you can't read. Okay, fine, then use the goddamn con with the cotton. Gone with the wind reference, isn't it? Son I of a bitch, I didn't even notice that till now. 
Okay. So we got. Oh yeah, I want to bring Laharl out, put him there, and then bring out Horse. Because I was actually able to get a new move for both Horse and Laharl and Edna and Flan. But I got a lot of new moves for a lot of people in this one. Okay, yeah, you two head this way. Yeah, you three go up that path, you three go up this one. Ready? Now we'll just kill them. <coughs> so yes, she's learning ice moves as well as the book spells. Pretty useful. It's pretty cool, I'm gonna admit. Probably gonna take me a while to show off what they all have right now. Hmm? I don't care if you're an angel or a demon. I won't give up being the overlord. I forgot about those little text prompts. They don't appear. They only appear during um a story mode mission. They don't appear during any of the random grinding levels. Yeah, I want to show off what he does. You know what? Laharl can stay behind on this. I want to show off uh, his move. Defend. Defend. Yeah, you're good. Special skill. You can't hit anyone. Defend. Okay. Matiko might be able to snipe someone. Er, sorry, not Matiko. Princess Candy. God. Got my mind on other things, I guess. So, yeah, she has Triburst and Dark Matter Ether. This is Triburst. BOOM! Or, oh my god, they're very overleveled already. Wow, that only took me about a day. Okay, so. <laughs> I am gonna keep ever all the characters balanced, so that's good. No, oh, can't reach. Hmm. I forget what the new moves uh, Flan has. Crap. So, heal, Mega Heal, Espar, Cures Ailments, and Love Knuckle. I think I've just demonstrated them all, so I'm not too worried. I should be worried about those priests. Oh, Protect Attack. Laharl just protected Horse! Wow. Didn't think he would. This is Double Shadow. The ancient technique of the double shadow, but the masters have forbidden it. And he's not in range for him. Damn it! Here I go, dude. Oh right, I should probably mention. Uh, Princess Candy has the ability that no matter who she kills, will always drop a. They will always drop a treasure chest. Yeah, that's gonna get a bit annoying over time. I can tell already. Uh, I do want to show off one of Edna's skills. I think I showed off in Paler Drop. Our yeah, I did. So, Prinny Raid. Hmm, nice cover. Um, you know what? Might as well have her finish her off. Dark Matter Eth. Actually, I think I want her to just attack the other one. Don't want to waste it on. Something. Okay, fine. Move down there then. <laughs> Dark matter ether. Why shoot bullets when you can shoot your soul? Wow. Oh, right. These things have ridiculous defense, don't they? Yep. Defend. 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 Okay, good. <coughs> she might be... No. no. Wait, oh, oh god, you're using that. Well, at least I don't have to show off 451 degrees of evil. Ready, go. Wow, she's still up. Oh, right. Sidekick. Oh my god. He, gets a, he has the chance to hit people multiple times. With high damage. Sidekick is a freaking monster. Jeez, I should have called him Ding Fang. <laughs> oh, well. 
So yes, with the Harl, Blade Rush, and Blazing Knuckle. I forget if I showed off Blazing Knuckle. Might as well just show it off here. I'm bound to use Hurricane Slash at one point. And yes, I was able to get a Hurricane Slash, so I got my favorite move back in. You know what? If he's not able to kill, you can't do jack shit. Never mind. Uh, she's probably... Hmm. Primey's kind of bugged about the order of the abilities, or... Special moves. It just sort of... I want to be able to change where they are. Position them better. I never use Stealing Hand. Like, I, I know I have a Thief, but I don't really have any use for a Thief, so... Hmm. And if any of them live, just have Flan finish them off. So, Blazing Knuckle, Laharl's first special attack, or unique attack at least. Only he can use it. No, I think I do remember that from the first game. And if I remember correctly, then Etna gets a Love Beam. Could've sworn this is on that one, but whatever. Love Knuckle. BECAUSE WE LOVE YOU! Stage clear. Oh, cool, I can make a green slime. Okay, that was on moving land. Like I said, one battle, one episode now. So, see you guys next time. Bye!